All right, we're standing in front of the uh, Robert E. Lee Monument in historic downtown Fort Myers in Lee County, uh, Florida, obviously. Um, Lee County was broken off from a, a bigger county with several smaller counties um, in 1887, and a man named Hendry proposed Robert E. Lee as the namesake for the county which obviously was, was done. And so in 1887, uh, Lee County was created. This is a very exciting monument for me. This is one of my personal uh, heroes, if you will, for lack of a better term, although I'm not a big fan of that term necessarily. It's applied to too many who don't deserve it, but in this case, it's very much deserving. This statue, this monument, the granite portion contains battlefield artifacts from uh, Manassas, Sharpsburg, Gettysburg, and other fields, uh, Spotsylvania, um, other fields all over Virginia um, and Maryland and Pennsylvania, and that part of the, the theater of the war. Um, Uh, a scion of the um, Lee family, which was one of the first families in this country, and traced their lineage back in England for a very long time. And of course, with everything Confederate now, the uh, the lunatic fringe want to get their hands on it and move it. And of course, you know, the more and more people who move from the north into the south and live here, the, the, the sooner the balance will eventually shift. And this monument won't be here any longer. It has stood here since 1966, uh, very unobtrusively, as you can see from it. And The only alteration has been restoration to the bronze bust and the inclusion of this fence uh, to keep uh, vandals and skaters off of it and that sort of thing. Um, but for the moment, the Lee County fathers and mothers are holding their own. It's an astonishing location, an incredible monument to incredible soldier